except for condom usage. All temporary contraceptive methods rely exclusively on women. Traditionally, this responsibility predominantly falls on women's shoulders, revealing a historical imbalance in reproductive responsibility between genders. The lack of male options limits couples' choices. While women bear the burden of continuous hormone injections and invasions of their bodies, men don't have the same level of control and security over their long-term reproductive capacity. At least not until now. That's what the American biotechnology company Contraline assures, intending to release the world's first male contraceptive method by 2027. Initial clinical trials have shown 99% effectiveness. How does it work? What is the societal impact of this method? Earth echoes through medical advancements. And this time, innovation promises to revolutionize how men perceive responsibility for their bodies and their offspring. Currently, men have only two options to protect themselves safely and effectively from unwanted pregnancy. In addition to using condoms, which is a temporary method, there is also vasectomy, a permanent invasive surgery that may not always be successfully reversed. For those certain they do not want to have children in the future, vasectomy is an interesting process, but it limits individual choice options that may change over time. Condoms, on the other hand, are an affordable, popular method that protects against both contraception and sexually transmitted diseases. However, the option is momentary, and the material can be compromised, requiring constant vigilance over its integrity, expiration date, and quality. On the flip side are women with various temporary birth control options such as intrauterine devices, IUDs, birth control pills, injectable contraceptives, implants, and skin patches. Among the most widely used is the intrauterine device, which releases hormones and can cause continuous and intolerable pain to the point of needing removal. Pills, on the other hand, rely on daily commitment, cause various side effects, and can trigger serious health conditions such as thrombosis, the formation of blood clots in veins that block blood flow and can lead to death. For years, the female population has demanded more coverage from science on this imbalanced scale. The truth is that the contraceptive methods available on the market weigh more on women's bodies, and men often rely on their partner's care, limiting male individual choice and freedom. To change this reality, the American biotechnology company Contraline is working on developing the world's first male contraceptive gel, named Adam. Its name is a biblical reference to the first man to inhabit the earth, who is said to be responsible for all of humanity's descendants. The study released by the startup introduces Adam as a non-hormonal, long-lasting hydrogel-based medication. The procedure involves inserting the product into the man's vas deferens through a quick injection. During the process, the gel is introduced directly into the tubes, blocking the exit of sperm. The minimally invasive procedure is performed in a laboratory setting, with local anesthesia and an average duration of up to 30 minutes. The method is similar to a vasectomy, and involves a small incision below the scrotum to access the vase deferens. After the gel is inserted, the tube is blocked, and the tiny incision is closed, leaving no apparent scars. The procedure was designed to prevent sperm from traveling through the ducts without affecting male sensation or ejaculation. Unlike female methods, the hydrogel does not impact hormones, reducing the potential for side effects. After installation, the path remains blocked, and sperm accumulated in the area naturally degrades, being absorbed by the body. Scientists estimate that the gel can last from one to two years inside the canal. During this period, it can be visualized and monitored through ultrasounds in simple and quick checkups. At the end of its lifespan, the material spontaneously liquefies, removing the barrier and restoring the natural flow of sperm. When compared to other temporary methods, Adam takes the lead. The low-maintenance medication ensures protection for a relatively satisfactory period without compromising fertility and male pleasure. Clinical trials and human testing began recently in 2023 in Australia. The research leader, Dr. Peter Chin, conducted the first test on August 8th with patients aged 29 and 30. Contrary to common belief, the doctor reports that many men positively volunteered to participate in the study. Just four weeks after the recruitment campaign was launched, over 1,500 volunteers applied to be part of this revolution in men's health. From this total, 
23 patients were selected by researchers to test the world's first implantable male contraceptive method. According to the study, all participants who underwent the procedure continued to have normal ejaculations without any damage to stimulating sensations. Fulfilling its mission, sperm counts in volunteers dropped from 99% to 100% just one month after the medication injection. Additionally, no adverse events were reported in the following weeks, ensuring the rapid recovery of those involved. Kevin Eisenfratz, Contraline's lead researcher, describes the gel as a IUD for men because he hopes the contraceptive will be long-lasting but reversible. After the success of the initial tests, scientists move on to the second phase of the study to assess the concrete durability of the gel and the impact of low sperm counts on pregnancy occurrences. Men are also interested in knowing if the gel can be reversed at any time. Eisenfratz explains that reversibility is a fundamental value proposition. If the patient doesn't want to wait up to two years, scientists need to test the clinical effects of early manual reversal, as well as the impact of this action on male fertility levels. Although still in the early stages, the tool is considered potentially promising in the race to find effective yet reversible contraceptives. Now, Contraline awaits approval from the U.S. regulatory agency, the FDA, to proceed with the study in the United States. Adam is expected to be approved as a new experimental drug in 2024, with the product anticipated to reach the public by 2027. Experts closely follow this area of development with great interest, since there are currently no approved long-term male contraceptive methods in the United States. Despite the available methods on the market, Recent studies indicate that 44% of all global pregnancies are unplanned. According to data from the National Survey of Family Growth, between 2017 and 2019, 62% of pregnancies among women aged 15 to 49 were not planned. On the other hand, an article published by the American Chemical Society, ACS, reveals that 39% of men in the United States and 76% of men in Nigeria and Bangladesh are interested in participating in new forms of male contraception. This willingness demonstrates the significant potential to equalize reproductive responsibility between genders. Currently, about 25% to 30% of birth control is performed by men through a combination of vasectomy and condom use. However, the reality proves that these options are not always desired or embraced by couples. Clinicians, researchers, and health authorities agree that the advancement of contraceptive methods plays a critical role in reproductive safety, family planning, and preventing unplanned pregnancies. The expansion of new safe and more comfortable methods like Adam can directly impact couples' safety, reducing the burden on women and expanding control and freedom for men. The lead author of the study, urologist Nathan Lorenschuk, ensures that if everything goes as expected, Adam will be a game-changer in the balance of shared responsibility. Science advances in medicine, and medicine expands its knowledge, ensuring the well-being and health of humans. Earth echoes within each of us, reminding of the incredible human capacity to generate life, but with responsibility and safety. If you are a man, write yes or no in the comments for Adam. Would you be willing to contribute to this responsibility with your partner? If you are a woman, what do you think about this new option? Like the video and don't forget to share this content to spread the information. See you later.